Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely gonna love my channel. So make sure you like and subscribe. Check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates. And today, let's get right into it. In today's video, I'm so excited because this is my very first Louis Vuitton shopping vlog, but I also do purchase my very first Louis Vuitton bag. And this is a dream bag that I've always wanted and I even get it personalized, so it's so fun. So without any further ado, let's dive right into it. Okay, 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 okay. So I am about to go get my Louis Vuitton bag and go to Louis Vuitton and look at the cat collars and the duffel bags. I am so excited. My best friend Heaven is about to get in the car and I'm so excited. Here we are at the wonderful Saks Fifth Avenue. Now it is a rainy day, but it is still so beautiful. Today I am bringing my Versace duffel bag because I do want to compare it to the Louis Vuitton one and make sure they're the same size. And then my best friend Heaven is carrying my Prada bag. When I went into Louis, I actually first seen these bags. And this is part of the, I don't know how to say the name, but I think it's the Kassam or Kusam collection. The detailing is actually pretty cool in person. I'm not a fan of the polka dots. We have a tote bag one and we all know I love a tote one with top handles. And inside, the inside is actually really cute. I'm really feeling it. It does have two pockets in the back. And then again, the detailing, the polka dots. I personally really love the corners on the sides too. I love the corners of the bag. So first I went to Louis Vuitton in Saks Fifth Avenue. Before I went into the big one at the mall, they didn't have the one that I wanted in the Saks Fifth Avenue. So they did bring a brown one so I can compare it to my Versace duffel bag. And as you see, both lengthwise and widthwise, they were about the same and they were both a 55. For the inside of the bag, it will match whatever color of the outside that you do choose. For comparison, they did bring me a 55 and that is the brown one. And then this black one is the 45. And the 45, when I was comparing it, I have to say the 45 would actually be more better for like an everyday purpose for like going away to like a boyfriend's house for a night but it's honestly like way too small to travel with because it will not fit a handbag, a pair of shoes, and plus everything you would need. However, the 55 would totally be able to fit like a Chanel Trendy, a La Medusa, a pair of shoes, a laptop, and everything you need all at once. But since I am here, I will be checking out some bags and this one, I actually really like it. Now, the material of the outside, the leather, is so soft and to be honest, I 100% approve it. And then even the inside, the inside totally won me over because I will say Louis Vuitton, they do have some of the best suede inside lining of their bags and it's so soft. And then the compartments on this specific bag 100% fits my lifestyle. It has so many pockets and the way I could use this for an everyday bag, 100% a good choice. This bag I actually really did love. Again, this would be great for every day. I do love the top handle of it. I do love their monogram. However, I only like the monogram in the dark colors, the dark gray because I love gray, but the brown, the brown has just never been for me. I do like the color of the fashetta leather though on the handle. It is really, really beautiful. So definitely a cute color for that. On the inside, it is really nice and actually does have a zip pocket as well. And I love the fact that it does have that giant zip. Trying it on, this one is really, really cute. Now I'm not sure if they do make it in the dark colors, but if they did, I actually might have to check into this one because I really am loving it. For the travel, this was a tough option because I would honestly prefer this over the key ball that I do end up purchasing. However, they don't make this in the dark colors once again. So if they did, it would be so cool. It's a duffel bag with wheels. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It was so useful and so good. Now, this is the inside of it and it is so cool. It does have the pocket as well. Definitely can fit a lot. However, I did ask them if they could customize one and if they could make it in the dark colors. My now new Louis Vuitton essay is looking into it and he will be getting back to me. So I am really excited about that and hopefully they say yes because if they can make one, I will 100% get it in the dark monogram. They did have an actual suitcase in the dark monogram, which I did love this. But in all honesty, I would prefer the other one because it's also like a duffel and it's the best of both worlds. But the actual suitcase itself is actually really, really cool. I love it. This right here, it's so soft and that would protect your clothing and all of your fragile items. So great. Definitely a lot better than just like the normal suitcases that I'm used to. But this one, you know, this one's actually really, really cool. 
a lot of space in this. This suitcase, 100% recommend this one. It's like $3,000, but like, again, I do recommend it. This is so cool. And the way that it turns on the wheels, this is so smooth. I wanted to like roll this around all day. I honestly could not get enough of it. And it's just so cool. It even does have its own lock. And, you know, it's just so fashionable to use. So this one, 100% recommend. After that, I did go to the Louis Vuitton store in the actual mall. So it's not the Saks Fifth Avenue one. And it turns out they had the bag that I just ordered. So if I went here, I didn't even have to order it in. But it is okay because it turns out this was only like the display one. And this is the only one they had. So I did get a brand new one shipped in. So I am happy that I did get it either way. But it's so cute. I'm so excited for mine to come. Now, I do take you on a longer vlog tour of this Louis Vuitton. It's so much bigger and we see so many great bags in it. But we will get to that when I come pick up my bag in a couple days. Welcome to Adam's Choose Your Weapon to go to Louis Vuitton and pick up my bag. I think I want to use this one. Cute. Picking this one or the Chanel Trendy. Let's see. I think so. It's just so like. <laughs> or Chanel. Ooh, I don't know. Uh, ooh, this one's cute with the colors and everything. But this one is. So I just walked in Saks Fifth Avenue and I'm waiting for my essay to grab me the bag. While I wait, I am looking at the scarves and the scarves are actually really, really cute. You know, I love the dark colors, so those I do want to look into. And then we have this super cute pink mini Speedy and this is so adorable. Now the Speedies, I'm not gonna lie, I do like them. Personally, I would only need one of them, again, in the dark colors, we all know I love that. But this pink one is really, really cute. And on the inside, super pink, super cute. It does have a pocket and a strap. For the price of it, it will be $3,100. Honestly, what a cute display this is. So adorable. And the scarf in the background, honestly, so great. And it's here. This is so cool. Okay, so this is my keep all, the one that I did get. Currently, my essay took it out for me. We went over all of the features of it. And we're currently going over the hot stamping process of it. Now, now, I can't show you the actual book of the hot processing options, but I will be waiting here for maybe like two hours while I get my initials put on the bag, and I'm so excited to customize it and really personalize it. While I'm waiting for my initials on the bag, I did look at the cappuccino bag, and this one is so cute. This is my favorite one of this type of style of this bag. So cute because I love the gold flowers on top of it. This is kind of like the perfect size. However, I do want the bigger one as well. But the thing is, this bag is $7,000. Now, as you see close up, it is so beautiful. And then on the back of it, it is nice, simple, and plain. If we go ahead and open the top part, we will see that on the actual flap, we do have a beautiful flower detailing. And then on the inside of the bag, there's actually a lot of room in it, a lot of pockets, and I love the interior of the bag. However, the thing is, this is made out of cowhide leather, which is what replicas are made out of. So 7,000 for cowhide leather, absolutely, I, can, I, I cannot do this. This bag is actually really cute too, not for me, but this is something that my mom would love because she loves these styles of bags. I do like the luggage tag and how they have that front pocket, really, really useful. And then even on the inside, I try to get a good shot for you, but they do have two pockets on the inside on the walls of the bag. So that's really cool too. Here's a limited edition bag and this has like pumpkins on it, I believe. Now this is part of like the Kusa or custom collection again i cannot pronounce it but danny o did have this bag or one of the bags like this i think she had this in the speedy but on the back it does have a blue pumpkin as well if you're into that on the inside the inside is actually really cool now i'm not a fan of the print on the inside but the detailing and like the quality of the leather on the inside really really approved by me i love the zippers i love the pockets 
This one even comes with a coin purse, which is really cool. And I do love that fact that it comes with that. That's honestly really cool for that price. Trying the bag on, it's not a bad size. Like I love tote bags and I love carrying them around, especially when they have a crossbody strap because I just feel like they look so good like on my body style because like I'm kind of on the smaller side. So I think they're so adorable. But here we even have a tiny Speedy and this one is so cool. All I could think of was my friend Devin Christopher. He would be so all over this. And this is just so adorably cute. And I actually did kind of really like it. This one was my favorite one that I did see because it even had an extra pouch that you could either keep on the bag or not keep on the bag. The inside of it was so beautiful as well. Like I said, the interior pockets, this is something that would really, really be great for my everyday use. And again, the suede, Louis Vuitton, like I said, they have some of the best suede insides and it's so soft. It feels like cashmere when you put your hand in. Really simple on the back of it. And this one, I honestly loved it. I did look at some mini pachetas, I think these are called. I know my friend Lumi Level Up, she is obsessed with these. This is like Mary's favorite, favorite brand. As much as I love Versace, she loves Louis Vuitton. So, you know, I do think of her a lot in this store. So I captured these because she was my inspo for this shot. Here we have more of the bags so that I did see earlier and I did try on the black one. The pink and white one was actually really cute and they do make them in smaller sizes. And I think that's even a wallet version on the left corner. Really cute, but these bags, I'm not gonna lie, I do approve them. Here we even have like a, I think this is like a special edition one, but if you look closely, even on the chain of the bag, it says Louis Vuitton. And that is so cool. Again, detailing, detailing, detailing. It is all there. Something that I didn't expect was I did look at the keychains and this one right here, I'm obsessed with it and I do want it. Now, I think this was like $500 or $600. I didn't want to add it to my current purchase, but this one, I am going to come back for it because I am obsessed with this keychain. While I was still waiting, I did look in some of the cases and we do see some of these bags. Really, really cute. Again, we have the polka dot ones. This one is very similar to my Prada 2005 re-edition, how it has like the extra pouch and everything. I do have a video on it if you want to check it up. It will be linked right above. While I waited, I did go to Saks Fifth Avenue and I did go to Versace. I do have an entire vlog coming. I did separate these two vlogs. So my next vlog will be everything I did while I waited for the hot stamping process. We'll go to Saks Fifth Avenue and Versace. But while I was at Versace, I did see this tote bag and I always seen it in the bigger size, but now they have it in a smaller size. And this one is so cute. This one is only $1,400, so it's such a great price. And this one 100% on my list, I must snatch it up. While I'm here, I did look at the brand new Silver La Medusa bag. We all know I love the La Medusa bags. I will have my playlist of my La Medusa collection right above because I do have three of them. And this silver one will be my fourth. Now the Findace bag right next to it, that is mine, that is not at the store. And I must say, I've never gotten so many compliments on it as I did on this day. Everybody asked me what bag that was, where I got it, and when did I get it, and uh, it was such a showstopper. Of course I had to try on the silver one because it's so beautiful. And yes, I do have my Versace umbrella with me because it's still raining on the day that I came to pick it up. But this one is so cool. However, I have to say that it is a little disappointing because the zippers on the front of it, they do open, but it doesn't fit anything. I was hoping it'd be like a secret pocket, like the Chanel Maxi flaps, but unfortunately it's just for decoration, so that's totally a missed opportunity. I did try their new repeat hobo bag, and I was a little disappointed in it because I do really love this, but the way it fits on my shoulder, it would fall off way too much. And then just like the size and how my arm goes on top of it, it just didn't feel right, like the way that everything was laying. So unfortunately, this doesn't work for me. One thing that I must have is this Versace denim jacket. This is so cool. Okay, so I love the way it fits. I could maybe go a size down or maybe even a size up and get it custom tailored in certain areas to make it more like voila. But this is so comfy. It's so cozy. I honestly really, really, really loved this one. I even had to use three release there. But it says Versace all over it. It does have Versace buttons on it. So giant Medusa heads. And I believe that it even had like Strakowski crystals on the buttons as well around Medusa. So this one, so much detailing. And this one was so amazingly great. 
I loved it, especially with my hair color right now. I thought it was so cute. Okay, so I just got a text from my essay saying that my bag was finished and this is so cute. I love it. Now for privacy reasons, of course, I'm just like putting out my initials, but uh, this is so cute. Now they had a few different ways you could customize it and lay your initials out on it. I chose the silver lettering and I chose to put three initials going down. Of course, I used my initials. So cute and I love it so much. Something that actually did surprise me was the shop bag. So the shopping bag is actually a box and this is like bigger than me. This is bigger than the Versace shopping bag I had when I bought my Versace bed. So this honestly takes the cake for the biggest box I have ever carried. After I got my bag, I did go to the actual bigger Louis Vuitton store in the mall because I wanted to show you guys the hot stamping footage of it. Now, like I said, I couldn't film the actual process of it being hot stamped, but they do have a machine out just so you could see how it gets done. So this is the machine. It looks really, really cool. I honestly really like it. I thought it was really fascinating. And then on the wall behind it, you can see that they did have that roll on suitcase in the dark colors, but it doesn't have the monogram. They only sell it in the checkered print and I just don't want the checkered print. I personally want the monogram all over it because that's what I really love. Just like these suitcases, as you can see, I just love it. It's just so cool and so classic. There's just nothing like the monogram to me. It's just such an iconic piece. On the wall, we do see some trunks and some trunk bags as well. Very, very cute. And again, you know, I love the dark colors. So they actually did have a Neverfull and I never see the Neverfull in the dark colors. This is actually really cool, but the only bad part about this is, you know, you could just reach your hand inside so easily, and I already have bags like that, so if I do get another tote bag, it has to have a zipper and some type of closure to it. One thing I will say, though, is the Louis Vuitton shoes 100% recommend, like this pair right here, I'm actually coming back for to get it in my size, 100% amazing. I fell in love with these and the Louis Vuitton logo on like the top of it. So amazing. We do have regular sneakers in black and white as well. These are actually really cool, but personally, all of my sneakers have to be a high top. Like this one, I would totally get this one too. This is so cool. I personally love the blue denim on it mixed with the white. This one, fantastic. What a masterpiece this is. And something crazy is they actually had the UF Oh, speaker. Now, I thought this was a handbag, but it's actually a speaker because, you know, I did see like buttons you can press on it for Valium and whatnot, but this is so crazy. Now, to get this to stand up properly, it does come on this as well. So I'm assuming, you know, when you buy this, they do give you that as well. But this is so cool. And just for decoration, I would love that. How cool is this? Something I thought was funny was I loved this bag right here. I thought it was so simple and so plain. However, then I realized that's just the back of the bag. And this is the actual front of it. It has that giant V lock on it, which I'm just not a fan of. If it was just simple like the back of it, it would have been so perfect. But you know, with the giant fee on the front, just not my vibe. For the waiting room in Louis Vuitton, it was so adorably cute. As you can see, a lot of trunks in the corners, even the one for the hat, so cute. And then over here, we actually have the table with the glass on it, but we have the flower trunk too. The trunk with the flowers on it, so cute. I actually really do want that to keep flowers in. That would be so beautiful. And then over here against the wall, we do have more trunks and more bags as well. I just see this limited edition cappuccino bag and this one was so cool. Now the texture of it was kind of like ASMR. I wanted to like dig my nails into the material. Of course I did not, but this was kind of cute to feel. Something that I do want is these swim shorts. This would be really cute and really sexy, honestly. I would love these, so I'm definitely adding these to the list. I also did see the cutest little heart bag, and if you are a fan of the heart-shaped bags, this is definitely the one for you because that is so adorably sweet. And then over here, I actually seen the stuffed animals. Now I've heard about these and these are 100% made out of cashmere, and these honestly were the softest thing I have ever felt. I honestly really, really do want them. They are insanely expensive, but they do have the Louis Vuitton logo on their cute little foot. It's so soft and just 100% uh, I need it. Next, I did go to Gucci, and for Gucci, you do see it more in my next vlog that will be coming up soon. It will be linked in the description below. But while I was at Gucci, I did look at their travel stuff, and this duffel bag, 
I really, really did love it. Now it's the same size as the 55. However, on the inside, you do have two pockets on each side. With the Louis Vuitton Keep Ball, you have one pocket on the inside. For Gucci, you have two. And then something that I would recommend is I actually would definitely get this Gucci suitcase over the Louis Vuitton one because this does have a pocket on the front of it. And this is just so cute. However, Louis Vuitton, they do make a separate one with a front pocket but I just like this look of the Gucci one better. On the inside, exactly the same as the Louis Vuitton one. Honestly, there's not really a difference besides the coloring, but it is the same layout on the inside. Now this Gucci travel bag was a weird shape to me. I did think the red color of it was really cool, but I was intrigued. I was like, what kind of style is this? So I had to check it out. And finally I went to Hermes and at Hermes, I seen the cutest stuffed animal of the horrors. And honestly, don't judge me, but this horse, I'm totally going to get because my mom loves horses. So what cuter stuffed animal to get my mom than an Hermes horse? So uh, that would be so adorably cute. So this one, you know, I fell in love with it as soon as I picked it up. And uh, I love it so much. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Now, I was so excited and I had so much fun filming this vlog and it was a dream come true at Louis Vuitton. Not only did Louis Vuitton always intimidate me, but they were so sweet and it made the experience like 10 times better. But I did completely forget the film Dior and Balenciaga. So the mall finally has a Dior and a Balenciaga and the Balenciaga was so nice. I met the cutest essay in the entire world. She is so adorable. And I will be going back to Balenciaga to check out some hourglass bags and the crush bag, which I really, really do want. And you will probably get to meet her as well. She's the most adorable thing. However, in my next video, you will be able to see everything that I did do while my hot stamping was being done. So we did go to Saks Fifth Avenue, Versace, and a lot of other places. And that will be my next video coming in just a couple of days. So definitely come back and check that out. And thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And have a great day. Au revoir.